Thank you. Thank you. It well, smells well. good, right? Mm. February continues with a lesson in making a great cup of java. Here to give us a little coffee 101, uh, please welcome the founder and owner of a local roasting company who's been featured in Epicurious. Ooh, holy cow. Hello. Dylan Edwards, oh my gosh. Dylan. Dylan, welcome. Hello. Epicurious. Yes. Look at you. You've got that friends. Epicurious stance. look about you. He's got the yes. stance. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Wait, Dylan, so we, we are coffee obsessed. We, we uh, go to so bed at here. night early to get up earlier to have it. As do I. Um, what makes a great cup of coffee in your mind? It all starts with the beads. Okay, I like them start strong. With great arabica beans, you see here we have two types yeah. of beans. So I kn I didn't realize there were only two types of beans. There aren't only two types. Okay. But there are two species of coffee that are produced in the world. Okay. Robusta is there a, and arabica. Is there a better bean? Arabica is definitely better. Arabica, this Ro is better. Arabica, yep, okay. that one there. So Am you I really doing can't it right? Tell by just looking at them. Okay. You can see these beans are maybe sorted a little bit better. If you've ever had a terrible cup of coffee at your convenience store, that's probably a cup of Robusta. Got it. But a coffee that's served at your local coffee shop is Arabica. Okay. okay. Um, all right, so this is the strong one. Dark roast. Yep. So that's now, the dark roast. The men in my life. We have three different roasts to taste with you. The men in my life, Ryan Seacrest, Mark Consuelos, love a dark roast. The darker the I was waiting to better. see if there was another man. <laughs> I, if, I, if I'm in your life, I'm going to be an outlier because I like light roast. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. That's send back coffee to me. Sorry. This is really good. Let Sorry. me, may I try a light roast? Sure. I'd love to talk you through it. Yes. The light talk, roast. Talk us through it. Light roast is going to highlight acidity and aroma. Medium roast is going to highlight more sweetness, Boy. a little more caramelly notes. And the dark roast is really going to be a heavier roasty cup. And it keeps you regular, Dylan. <laughs> sure does. One of the side, the fringe benefits. All right, so, grinding. For grinding, most folks have seen one of these grinders. You probably have one at your house. Uh, they're, they're really meant for the trash can. I hate to say it. If you have one, it really does a good job at chopping your coffee beans up really inconsistently. Oh, wow. That makes a cup of coffee that's going to be both sour and bitter. If you buy a burr grinder for maybe a little bit more money, two or three times the price, you're going to get a really consistent grind. And it really makes a difference in the taste. It makes a total difference in the taste. Okay. Sweeter, cleaner cup of coffee. What about filters? I have a metal filter. Filters, Kel, what do you have? Uh, we, it, we have a whole system. You don't want to, I mean, none of our coffee is represented okay. here. No worries. Yeah. Personal preference, brewing is really a wide world. Uh, I like filter coffee. If you are somebody who drinks filter coffee at home, I highly recommend you steer clear of the brown filters. They're going to give your cup of coffee a really newspapery flavor. You really want a, a white filter. That's going to give you a cleaner cup and it's going to be a little bit sweeter. Metal filter is totally okay, Ryan. You're going to have a little bit more silt, a little more body, because it does let some fine grinds through. Okay. But some people like that. Yeah. He likes a fine grind. I do. Yeah. I, I also sometimes forget to put the filter in and have put the beans yes, in the machine. Yes, right, of course. Uh, storing your beans. Storing your beans. Over here, you have some bags. If your roaster sells you coffee in a bag like this with a foil lining, it's good to stay fresh for about two to three weeks in your pantry if you just keep the bag closed. Mm. But if your coffee comes in a thin paper bag like this, you only got a few days before it starts to stale. Um, I was keeping my coffee in the freezer and then Gelman yelled at me. And I dare say he used angry words. <laughs> so is, is frozen, should you freeze the beans? Only if your bag is sealed. Because if your coffee uh, gets condensation on the beans, it's gonna degrade the quality. All right, well, I'm gonna grab the bowl for us. Cheers. Thank you very much, Dylan. Great to see you, my friend. More information on Dylan's roasting company, Parlor Coffee. Go to kellyandryan.com.